Trusting the driver is a must whenever you get into a car, but could you trust the quick and sometimes difficult ethical choices that autonomous vehicles may soon have to make? Chief among them, programming common sense and morality to ensure the absolute safety of every passenger. Now, nearly every auto manufacturer, including CBS This Morning sponsor Toyota, has joined the race to get you out of the driver's seat. Travel editor Peter Greenberg went along for a ride to see how far the technology has really come. So, Professor, this looks just like a regular car. To see where driverless cars are heading. Autonomous driving. So it's said it's driving okay. autonomously. My hands are off. We went for a ride with Professor Raj Rajkumar at Carnegie wow. Mellon University. Does it see that guy over there? Where the technology was created over 30 years ago. So for all those people who are telling us we're gonna, we are going to be driving in a driverless car tomorrow, you say? Uh, just wait. The magic all happens in here. That's right. Keep waiting. Because despite all this technology and decades of research, the driverless car still has a long way to go. The biggest nightmare that people like me who work on autonomous cars have is that somebody deploys this technology prematurely and it causes an accident. God forbid hits a stroller and some child dies. As disturbing as it is unlikely, it's a scenario on the minds of researchers. And it's slowing the momentum of autonomous vehicles. For some reason, we as human beings are much less tolerant of an error that a machine makes than an error that a human being makes. Gil Pratt heads the Toyota Research Institute, a billion dollar global initiative from the manufacturer to fast track the driverless car. How do you program in human decision making, moral and ethical choices, the ones that we would make our hopefully every day when we drive into this driverless car? What you're really talking about in artificial intelligence is called planning. Planning for a near infinite number of ethical scenarios like this. Say your car is approaching a head-on collision. To avoid the oncoming vehicle, your car can only move right because crossing the yellow line on the left is illegal. But what if there's a person, or even a group of people, to your right? These machines will have the ability to understand what is happening in the world much better than a human can. Every, t every time? Daniela Roos is leading Toyota's research at MIT. Every time that's reasonable. Self-driving can be used today, and it can be used at low speeds where perhaps we don't have to worry so much about um, whether there is a catastrophic um, collision. We've been driving our self-driving cars on the campus at the National University of Singapore and also in various public uh, spaces. So keep it slow. For now. So that's what we would do. Back on the road at Carnegie Mellon, our driverless car suddenly takes a detour. Now you just had to take over. Yes, because I think uh, the system has been sitting for quite some time. It is probably not to need to uh, reboot. And Professor Raj Kumar takes the wheel. Oh, not easy to reboot when you're driving 60. Evidence that the autonomous vehicle still has miles to go. You have to understand, we need to be there with tremendous reliability. And uh, even the millions of miles that have been tested so far are not nearly enough. We're talking about a trillion miles. And so we still have a ways to go to ensure that it works almost all the time. For CBS This Morning, Peter Greenberg. Peter says the key word there is almost. True driverless cars are not ready yet. We'll see some incremental changes first in the next two years. Rear and side view mirrors will likely be replaced by video displays on your dashboard. The Carnegie Mellon professor told us we're still a good 10 years away from being able to buy a driverless car. And that's really either exciting or very disappointing, depending on your point of view on that topic. I know. Well, I still like getting in the car and driving. I do, too. I like to drive, too. You do, too, Charlie. I you do. like driving. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. Me, too.